for an easy understanding structural elucidation of citrol can be made into four steps first step is the understanding the general chemical properties or identifying the functional groups of the citrol second step is the understanding the chemical degradation of the citrol third step is the understanding the synthesis of the methyl heptanone one of the component obtained by chemical degradation fourth step is the synthesis of the citrol molecular formula of a citrol is c10h16o citrol has 10 carbons in it saturated hydrocarbon with 10 carbons is decane and the formula of decane is c10h22 the difference between decane and the citrol is six hydrogen atoms so the number of double bond equivalents in citrol is 3 that means citrol may contain three double bonds or two double bonds and one ring or one double bond and two rings or it may have three rings in its structure citrol reacts with the hydrogen gas and forms tetrahydrocitrol and with bromine it forms citrol tetrabromide These reactions indicate that citrol contains two CC double bonds in it. Citrol forms oxime with hydroxylamine and gives failing and toluene test. It gives primary alcohol on reduction with sodium amalgam. This primary alcohol is called geraniol. it forms carboxylic acid and oxidation with silver oxide without loss of any carbon atom this carboxylic acid is known as geronic acid all these reactions prove that citrol contains an aldehyde group in it double bond equivalence in citrol is 3 it contains two cc double bonds and one aldehyde group and we know very well that in aldehyde group a double bond is there between carbon and oxygen atom that means citrol may have an open chain structure it may not have any ring in it citrol on heating with potassium hydrogen sulfate gives paracimin paracimin is nothing but one isopropyl 4 methyl benzene By this reaction we may expect the positions of the methyl and isopropyl groups in citrol on treatment with sodium bisulfite citrol forms mono as well as dibisulfite addition products this indicates that one of the double bonds in citrol is conjugated with the carbonyl group the lambda maximum value in the uv spectrum of the citrol is 238 nanometer this confirms the presence of the alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde group in citrol the position of the other double bond and the complete structure of citrol is established by its oxidation with alkaline potassium permanganate followed by chromic acid to give acetone oxalic acid and lewolic acid the structure of citrol is further proved by its oxidation with aqueous potassium carbonate solution in this reaction citrol is oxidized to acetaldehyde and an unsaturated ketone this unsaturated ketone on ozonolysis gives acetone and lewolic acid so this unsaturated ketone is identified as 6 methyl hept 5 in 2 on this unsaturated ketone simply is called as methyl heptanone methyl heptanone is synthesized by reacting 2,4 dibromo 2 methyl butane with sodium salt of acetyl stone methyl heptanone is reacted with the ethyl iodoacetate in the presence of zinc to give a condensed product this reaction is known as reformatsky reaction then this condensed product is 
hydrolyzed and distilled with calcium formate to get the citrol.